I am in the Walgreens parking lot. I just picked up some photos. I'm doing like a little gallery wall in my husband and I's room. Um, so look at this. Look at my little fox for, <laughs> he was a fox for Halloween. Um, so I got some pictures printed for a gallery wall. I had some, I actually picked some up yesterday, but then I put the gallery wall up and I realized that it, I didn't like the way that it looked. It needed more pictures. So I had four more eight by tens printed. Anyways, good morning. I just like started throwing pictures in your face. Um, I just dropped Carter off at school about an hour ago, so not like just dropped him off, but it was like a rush this morning because I did not want to get up. Um, I think it's the weather. The weather here in Texas has actually been pretty cold, and I know it's been in the 50s, which is cold for us, and it makes me not want to get up out of bed, I think, or I don't know. I don't, I've just been like really tired lately. I know that being pregnant has something to do with it but I was watching some of my old videos last night, um, just kind of like scrolling through them or whatever, and I was like, man, I used to vlog a lot. Like, I don't know, it just seemed like I would vlog a lot more than I am now. So I was like, you know what, I need to start vlogging more. Um, I stopped by Chick-fil-A after dropping Carter off. I had to go by the bank, and then I went by Chick-fil-A because I was starving. <laughs> and I really, I hate it when people say I was starving, but I was really, really hungry. I went to bed kind of hungry last night because I didn't want to eat anything too late for fear of getting heartburn or something. And um, so this morning when I woke up, I was really hungry, but I woke up late and I had to get Carter to school. I didn't wake up too late. I mean, he got to school on time and everything, but I was like super hungry. So I grabbed Chick-fil-A and is it just me or is there coffee better than Starbucks? I mean, I think I must be ordering the wrong thing at Starbucks because sometimes I'm like, okay, this is way too sweet. It's just way too sweet for me. And it's probably because my taste buds have kind of changed from pregnancy. Like I used to drink the heck out of chai tea lattes before I was pregnant. When I'm pregnant, I cannot drink chai tea lattes at all. It just, I can't, I can't do, I don't know why. Um, sometimes I'll get a wild hair and be like, hey, I'm gonna have a chai tea latte and I never finish it. But once this baby comes out, you better believe I'm probably going to be drinking chai teas all the time again. So, I don't know. Chick-fil-A's coffee. This is just the tall, um, here I am, the tall, the small iced vanilla coffee. It was so good. It was way better than Starbucks, so... Anyways, I'm going to run some more errands, and I'm not exactly sure what I'm doing today. My husband has Cooper, in case you're all wondering. So Carter's at school, Cooper is at home with my husband, who um, on Thursdays, that is today, I'm vlogging today, you're watching this on Friday probably, um, he has a little bit slower days, so Thursdays are usually the days that I like to vlog, um, because he can help me out with Cooper and I can get errands done and stuff, um, so yeah, alright, I'm gonna get some stuff done, because I'm just sitting in the Walgreens parking lot chatting about nothing for six minutes so I thought I would go ahead and show you guys what I have been working on and what I was talking about as far as the gallery wall so what I had originally done yesterday was all of these that you see right here and then I was like okay that doesn't look like enough to fill up this wall space um, if you can see here but now I don't like the way that it is spaced out <laughs> So now I'm gonna have to rearrange some of the pictures, which is really frustrating because I just, I wanted to be done with it. But I don't know, I just don't like how it looks right here and right here. So I'm gonna have to fix that. So let me go ahead and see what I can do. So I completely lost track of time and realized I have to wake up Cooper so we can go get Carter. So I hate waking him up whenever he's sleeping. Get Bubba from school. What are you doing? Hi, baby. Oh, goodness. Let's go get Bubba, okay? So, we are at the grocery store. We're about to go in, grab some groceries. Does yeah. everybody have on their I'm gonna behave pants? 
grocery store entertainment. Let's just let's not fight over them or spill them all over the floor. Hey. Hey, Bubba can hold the can, okay? So he doesn't, so you don't drop it on the floor, okay? He always, he wants two at a time. Hand him two. Or a couple. That way he's not bothering you every second. What other snacks do we want here? Yogurt melties. Ooh, those look good. Apple and pumpkin. Yum. How many you got, baby? What's, what's taking so long? Get five for me. You need four more. Two. Yes. Three. Two more. Four, five. <laughs> okay. Good job. The highlight of the grocery trip is balloon. <laughs> I know, I know. Just wait. They're pretty, huh? Are you gonna get blue? Carter, are you getting red? Yeah. Oh, I know, I see them. Stop. Mm -hmm. Stop. Five points. Five points. We're about five on that well, that's one. more than one, huh? All right. I hope I get that winning one. Okay, one more time. That's right, yeah. Hit it. Oh, 50. 50 points? Oh, yeah. That's wow. what I'm talking about. Good job. I thought I'd show you guys what I picked up. Um, just from the grocery store. This is not a full grocery run. I just went and grabbed some things that I needed. I didn't grab stuff for meals for the week or anything. Um, but I got some of these yogurts that the kids really like, as you can see here. I'm sure they're not that great for them, but. Anyways, um, I got some of these onion rolls for dinner. We're just gonna have these. Um, I got one of these rotisserie chickens and I'll put some vegetables in, probably some green beans. Um, not sure what else we have, um, but I'll have to look in the pantry. And then fruits and stuff like that. Um, and then I got some bananas and some salad also for tonight. I love um, salad lately. Ever since I've been pregnant, like I just wanna eat salad. And then these little, these little buddies right here for snacks for the kids and for me. Um, some strawberries for snacks, grapes for snacks. They also, the kids also like these as y'all saw in the store. And then I grabbed some lemons for water. These really helped me to drink more water during the day. And then of course some milk. I got some organic whole milk. That's what Cooper drinks and so we all pretty much drink that. And then this is new. It looked so good. The blueberry with lemon clusters. I'm all about like lemon flavored stuff. So I hope that that is good. And then some chocolate checks. I go through cereal like nobody's business when I'm pregnant because that's like my go-to thing when I get really hungry at night um, is cereal. And then here I got some more creamer. This, so this time I got the Natural Bliss Cinnamon Cream flavor. I have tried this. This is really good. And then I got some more ketchup. Um, and then some more ranch dressing. This is the orange juice that we drink. This is the um, Simply Orange with pineapple. This is the juice, if we were gonna drink juice, if we're gonna have juice, this is what we always drink. Cooper, me, my husband, the kids, anybody. And then, um, you don't usually drink a lot of orange juice, do you? You'd rather just have water. Um, and then I got honey wheat bread. This is the bread that we usually always buy. And then I got I grabbed these. These are actually new. Hey, hey, chill with the balloons. <sighs> um, 
These are the Thomas um, Nooks and Crannies. And this is the, I've never tried these particular ones before. This is a double protein oatmeal with cinnamon. Sorry about the balloons. He thinks it's hilarious, I don't. So yeah, that's just a little bit of a grocery haul. Oh, and I don't know what it is since Halloween, but I've been craving them. So that's just a little pregnancy craving. Okay, so that is what we got from the grocery store. So I think I finally got them how I like them. And I don't know, I may still need to do some switching around, but for now I can be pleased with this. But I figured while I was showing y'all this gallery wall, um, and by the way, these frames are from Hobby Lobby and the frames at Hobby Lobby are always half off. So these smaller ones, um, I believe I got for $6.50 or $7, the five by sevens. And then the eight by 10 frames, I wanna say they were $9 a piece. So I thought I would show you all a tour of the master bedroom while I'm in here. So I'll go ahead and start like, if you're coming in to our room, this is what you will see, and sorry about the carpet, I really need to vacuum it, but it is what it is. So that's from Hobby Lobby. Um, our dresser, I get a lot of questions on this. This was my husband's whenever we got married. I do not know where he got it from, but it was not this color and it did not look this nice. I painted it with Rust-Oleum chalk paint in linen white, and then I replaced the hardware on it with these, which are from Hobby Lobby. And Hobby Lobby's knobs go on sale a lot. And yes, I really like the Rust-Oleum chalk paint. I think it does a really, really good job. Um, who knows where that frame's from. This is from TJ Maxx. This is where I keep all my jewelry. Here is my favorite perfume. Um, this is by Lalia. And it is from Anthropology. My husband got that for me. And then there's me. And this is um, a mirror. I think my mom just gave that to me. I've had it for a long time, but it's just really pretty. And then um, another frame with me and my hubs. And I also get a lot of questions about this. This um, vase is from Ikea. And then these, like this whole little flower arrangement, is from... Hobby Lobby. So these are these really soft, very light colored flowers. I don't know how to describe them, but I love them. They're very, very in right now. So those are from Hobby Lobby. And then this is also from Hobby Lobby. I just wanted to add a little bit of color in it. But their floral stuff also goes on half. You just got to catch it. And I think I've got two of these and then one of these in there. And maybe just some regular. Well, this is a pretty big one. This is a big bundle. And then I've got two of those. So, And that's from Ikea. And then this little stand right here is from Target Dollar Spot. My candle is from TJ Maxx. This is from the Target Dollar Spot as well. And this lamp is from Target. But it has been a while since I got that. Here is my bed and bedding. These, um, the nightstands were actually my husband's grandma's and I repainted them and I used, gosh, I don't know if I used chalk paint. I did not use chalk paint on these. I do not know. Probably just a regular like white wall paint. I'm not really sure. Um, and then these knobs are also from Hobby Lobby. I really like these knobs. That one needs to be tightened. And then as you can see, like I distressed the top here and like all these on purpose with sandpaper. And then I just left the top natural. And then the lamps are from Ross. I've had those for a little while as well. The curtains are from Ikea. And then I did this little gallery wall up here. My headboard is from at home. You can find that headboard, I'll leave it below. And then that pillow is from Target. That one. That one is from Home Goods. That one I found at a antique shop and um, I found the pillowcase and I put a new pillow in it. Then that is from the Target Dollar Spot. Right now, I'm starting to kind of add some Christmassy decor to my room and to my house. So I just kind of threw that on there for now. Okay, so this is something that I really wanted to talk about. This duvet cover is brand new. Um, as you can see, it's got some lace detailing on it, but not like, too much lace. It's got lace detailing on the sides of the pillows of the shams and then it's got a little bit of lace detailing here 
and that's it the rest is white anyways this bedding is from amazon and it's a duvet cover i want to say it's like 40 something dollars for a king size so if you have an even smaller bed it would be even less than that and um i will leave that information below for sure but i am just you guys are going to see this bedding a lot because i sit in here but like in front of my bed i just i feel like it's so simple so easy it's very soft i love the very like minute detailing of it and very very inexpensive if you're looking for a new duvet cover for your room and your style is kind of like mine so i'll pack up a little bit so you can see it all together but that is what it looks like and then over here i've got my free standing mirror this is from home goods as well as you can see i have not changed out of my clothes that i had on earlier today so while i'm here might as well do an outfit of the day those are from h m my shoes and then these are uh, my maternity leggings from target this is that sweatshirt from target that i talk about all the time and then um i did well my hair is kind of straightened but i just threw my cat back on and i did kind of do my makeup today but that baby bump is like whoa <laughs> it's getting there so i'm just i'm in the be comfortable stage so this is me today and then this is my little makeup area where i think a lot of people have wanted to see this for a long time it's nothing special as you can see i do have a ring light this is like super ghetto but i had to wrap a sheet around it i learned this trick from somebody else on youtube like a youtube hack or something but the light like i even have a so the ring light is in here this is a dimmer or the whatever you call it i don't know and then i had to put this on top of it to make it even less bright because it's really really bright so it looks super trashy like that but you just do what you gotta do and then my uh desk i don't even know where this is from because my husband surprised me with it for christmas last year when i started my youtube channel and it was just the sweetest thing ever this chair which i believe is from office max and um this is a really nice chair i don't know how much it was but it doesn't matter he thought of me and got it for me and then the desk i'm really not sure it might be from office max as well i'll have to ask him and then this is from at home this is a mirror that i've had for a while well hello do not steal nope you can't reach it so he likes to steal my brushes right you can have this one this is cooper's designated brush that's the only one that you can have this is from home goods no TJ Maxx, do not pull this over. This is a beauty blender holder. So as you can see, it's got like these little holes in the bottom and it's perfect for your beauty blender because it can like breathe. And then I put my smaller like eyeshadow brushes in here. Which these are from Amazon and I wanna say the company is called Pretty Display. Um, they actually sent these to me a while back and I love them. They are super nice and super inexpensive. So if you're looking for stuff to hold your beauty tools, this and then they also sent me these and i love these for just storing things like you know if you want to display them a little bit so that uh 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 uh, uh. no 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 coop so yeah that's just what i put like my foundations on my palettes and then i've got just you know some whatever miscellaneous stuff that is what my little station looks like and i also store makeup in this drawer right here um i my hands are full so i can't pull it open but i've got some makeup stored in there as well and that is all the makeup that i have i go through there a lot like i just went through there yesterday and threw away stuff that i don't use so pretty much that all of that and then a drawer right there and that is it no need for more than that and then um this rug is from Hobby Lobby and you can get a really good deal on this rug and it's actually pretty big I've got another one under my table in uh, my dining room table and I want to say I got this for like 40 bucks so this is from Hobby Lobby and then right here is my wall and we're back to square one so that is a tour of my master bedroom so this is one of Coop's favorite toys he was given this um to him as a gift for his birthday 
but I believe you can find it on Amazon. I'm pretty sure I saw it on Amazon. This is what it looks like on the front. Oh, excuse me. But it's like a little baby laptop. And okay, all done. But he plays with it a lot. So just in case you guys have little ones that like Mickey Mouse um, that are about Coop's age and you're looking for a gift, maybe for Christmas or something. Uh-oh, let's, let's not break it. What are you doing? Don't break your toy. So it's pretty durable, as you can see. <laughs> oh my goodness, you are silly.